Yo, what is going on guys? I am bringing you the trade day results for the team. Sadly, this will not be a live commentary due to the reason that be like an hour before I checked these, there was only about one to two trades per player and some of them weren't really that good. I decided to check them and I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll just leave these guys be and I will sell them manually because I wanted to actually, I want to build my team and make it stronger. So I don't want to like accept the trade that's only worth like 50% of what the guy's worth. And then later on that night when there's only about like 15 20 minutes left i decided to go check the trades and i was like okay maybe there is some stuff but i did not have a time to do a live commentary so i'm sorry about that we're gonna open right up and this is definitely a donation so a huge thanks to you i usually wouldn't accept these but at the moment my team is struggling if you guys are watching the deca street so anything helps so a th huge thanks to you honestly i'm sorry if you didn't think i was gonna accept this but thank you for the 7,000 coins as well as give me another cron wall without the contracts maybe that's maybe that's coming with the 7k maybe these contracts are at 7k and now the next player we're going to look at is Krejci, who I thought went for 20k, but I ended up selling him. You guys will see the trades, but I ended up selling him for 13.5k the next day. So I didn't accept any of these trades, but you guys will see what we have in stock for the trades. So that's a spoiler alert that I don't accept any of these. So sorry, I'm not going to do that again. But I wasn't sure what Varlamov went for. I knew again I didn't go for too much of this trade. I only knew that Hiller goes for 2, maybe 3k, and the Hut Live guy maybe goes for 7k. And then this trader here, Voracek's like 4 to 5, and Rimstake's like three so that's seven plus the five or so so that probably would have been worth maybe more i'm not sure about varlamov i think maybe 10k there but i was looking at this trade for a while well not actually for well before prior to this i was looking at this trade and i was trying to think if i wanted to do that but i didn't look at preachy's price but i thought he was like 20k so i didn't accept any of those there we have eric Stahl who goes for about probably 18 to 20k or so i knew gabrick only went for about 12 to 13 backstrom i thought went for 20k so I decided to take Backstrom, but I believe he only goes for about 15k, but I'm still happy because I think Backstrom is a better player than Eric Stahl in this game anyway, and I'm going to throw him in my collection and not sell him. So thank you for the trade. Actually, both were pretty good. Gabrick is definitely good, but I already have a Gabrick, so there was really no need for him. And this trade, we get a Gabrick and a Backstrom, and then the Dallas Stars Chial Arena, but I didn't really want it, so I was going to reject that. And Ben, I was looking for around 65k or so, maybe 70. And this trade, we get Sagan, 13k, and Giordano. So Sagan's about 50, so it's about 63. And then this trade, we get 40, and Luongo and Yandel, it's about maybe 60 at most. And the last trade, we get Carlson, who's about 65k, Route 2, Havlat, and 5k. So it's looking like the other one is better, especially since Carlson is more in demand. He's one of the fastest skating defensemen. I think he is the fastest skating defenseman so far, and Sagan is only 88 overall. He's definitely a good player, but I think there's more demand for Carlson, and I think Carlson's going to be easier to sell, and indeed he was. We sold him for 64k, so we almost got so we got more than 70k back on Ben, and the last one we sold was for 70, 67k, so we made some coins. This next trade, we got Petra Angelo, who I want about 70k for. This first trade, I wasn't really sure what they were going for. This trade, I got so confused. Some people were tweeting how Yager was going for 17k, so I was basing his price off of 17k, so that one might have been worth more, so I'm sorry I didn't accept that one. But anyway, we decided to reject this one right here. Cronwell's about 30k, Carter's about 15k, Patrick's about 15k, so that's a pretty good deal, but I... I didn't really want those players to be honest. I was more looking into the Yager one, but I thought his price was only like 15K. Then I looked at the market afterwards, it was 35K. But we decided to take the Rick Nash and the, was it the, yeah, 15K. And last but not least, we have Phil Kessel, the greatest one right there. And we see Marlowe, Pavelski, Cronwell, not worth it at all. Bergeron, Johansson, and Johnson, not really worth it at all. Bergeron's about 80K, but not really worth it. And the final trade is a John Tavares, Wisniewski, and then just some bronze stuff and about 5K. And then the, the actual last one is a Darren Helm and nine, 90,000, but I want around 115 at least for Phil Kessel. So we decide to go back, we reject the Darren Helm one, and we leave just the Tavares one up. And I was seeing if he got any bids, which he did not. And we do end up taking the John Tavares, who we did end up selling for on the right wing, 99. We did end up selling for 118,000 as well as the 5k and the Wisniewski. So we definitely made our coins back there, but if you guys enjoy this video, please leave a like, and I promise next trade day will be a live commentary. Hopefully you get some more of a trade. I gotta stay high.